Hello everyone, and welcome to the ISMACAT 16 channel load cell interface tutorial. In this video, we will demonstrate how to read a load cell input by using the ISMACAT system. The 16 channel load cell interface is an EtherCAT based amplified analog input device. Eight differential voltage inputs, or 16 single ended voltage inputs, are measured with the low noise programmable gain amplifier or PGA, with gain values ranging from 1 to 64. This is essential to read the extremely small voltage variations that one would observe with a load cell or any other high sensitivity application. For high precision measurement, this unit also features onboard calibration functions for voltage offset and gain error. Here, we would like to demonstrate the reading of load cell signals. Now, let's get started. In order to read load cell signals, we need several ISMACAT components. First, we need one ISMACAT master device. In this tutorial, we shall use the dedicated ISMACAT Server S as our master, but any Windows or Linux machine can be used as the ISMACAT master by downloading the server software from ismacat.com. Second, we have to prepare one ismacat slave set. This set consists of the ismacat 16 channel load cell interface, and we will connect it to a load cell to demonstrate the reading of differential inputs. In this tutorial, we are going to use a bar shaped strain gauge load cell. The ismacat master and slave set will be connected to each other and communicate via ISMACAT POE or power over EtherCAT. This enables our master to provide both communication and logic power to the slave over a single Ethernet or RJ45 cable. Here is a load cell hardware setup that a lot of us might already be familiar with. On the left, we see that the load cell receives positive and negative excitation voltage from the VDD5 and ground pins in the load cell analog input connector, while its positive and negative signal wires will be connected to channel 0 and channel 1. On the right, we have the PoE system that was discussed earlier. When we have connected all the components as shown, our hardware setup is complete. Now, let's write our code together. We can start with the template that is included in the ISMACAT Server Software Development Kit. Let's open the header file. We need to create one object for the ISMACAT slave to represent the type of slave that we wish to physically use. Under Private, we create a pointer to an ISMACAT load cell interface object. Next, let's look at the source file. In the connect function, our declared object needs to be connected with an actual ismacat slave. The function, named as assign ismacat slave index, is for this connection. Because the load cell interface board is the first, and in this case the only, slave connected to the ismacat master, let's assign our object ecat li the index of zero. Let's move on to the setup function. Because the load cell interface board can read two different types of input signals with various programmable gain amplifiers, we need to set options for input channels to acquire proper inputs based on our purpose. For this, let's declare load cell interface option object first. After declaring the option object, we can set analog input configurations. The 16 channels are grouped into 8 sets of 2 channels each. Each group has an assigned variable in the ismacat analog input object, which indicates whether it is treated as a single-ended or differential input. The default setting is single-ended input. However, in this tutorial, we will set the parameter in channel 0 to 1 to read a differential input from the load cell. Next, we can set a programmable gain amplifier, or PGA. 
This is a controllable electronic amplifier, typically an op amp, which is used to boost the load cell input signals. For PGA setup, the 16 channels are grouped into sets of two. PGA values range from 1 to 64, with higher gain values indicating higher amplifying ratios. The default setting for all channels is PGA 1. In this tutorial, we shall select PGA 64, representing a gain of 64. Last, we push this option object to ECAT LI using a set system param function. Our setup function is now complete. In the loop function, we will write a line to print out the elapsed time and the differential load cell inputs in channel 0 and 1. This is to output the measured load cell inputs to our screen as a demonstration. And now, let us look at how the system performs. As we apply forces to the load cell, we can see the amplified millivolt values that are picked up by the ISMACAT load cell interface. Thank you for watching. For more information and tutorials, visit our website ismacat.com and our YouTube channel ismacat.